Greetings, shining bulls and shining bears, and welcome to this, the 36th episode of the Crypto Astrology Podcast. Please note that financial astrology, similar to technical analysis, is not 100%. I, Maya Raghavan, am not an influencer. I am not a financial advisor. Rather, I am a financial astrologer, using the planetary positions as data inputs in my analysis of the probable nature of price movements. I do not make your decisions for you. Your decisions are up to you. Shining Bull content is here to stimulate your own thought process as you make your own decisions relating to your own finances for yourself and by yourself. We are going to take a look at what this week holds for Bitcoin and Ether price. Before getting into the day today, regarding this week as a whole, here are the most important celestial factors that will be influencing us here on the Earth plane. The most important celestial moves this week are, firstly, on Sunday afternoon, Mars will join Ketu in Leo in the Navamsha upon entering into a new nakshatra, Purvashada. Generally speaking, I see that here leaders in society, including Elon Musk, are likely to start acting up and making claims which can affect markets. Next, Sunday night, Sun enters the sign of Capricorn. This brings stability into market sentiment, especially due to Sun and Saturn being together in Capricorn in the Navamsha. However, on Thursday when Sun joins Rahu in Aquarius in that Navamsha, I see leaders start to act in a dubious manner, which I do not see being good for Bitcoin particularly. But that's the first part of Thursday. You need to listen to the, the day by day. This is just an overview. So anyway, on Tuesday, though, Mercury enters into trine Tuesday to Jupiter, and this is going to take prices up in a way that shows up on the daily chart. But back to Thursday, also on Thursday, Venus enters into Sagittarius, and this is going to be good for Bitcoin and for crypto. On Friday, Mercury reaches an exact trine to Jupiter, and when on Saturday, Mercury joins Ketu and Leo in the Navamsha, and this is quite interesting to me, I see that certain powerful figures are going to act in a possibly, uh, sorry, act on possibly crazy statements that they had made at the beginning of the week. Remember I mentioned at the beginning of the week, they start to make some crazy claims. And this looks good actually for Bitcoin and Ether. So now, before we look at the day-to-day -day this week in Bitcoin and Ether price, I want to let you know that the Bitcoin 2024 predictions book is now available on ShiningBull.com. The new book ETH BTC 2024 predictions for the ratio is also now available on ShiningBull.com for those of you that trade the ratio. A new a trading signal service is also now available and you can check the details out for that on shiningbull.com too. And the great thing about all of this is that you'll notice my website is different when you visit. It's because I changed to a different platform, Shopify, so you are now able to automatically download your books immediately at purchase and there's also a lot of different payment options too. So. Anyway, let me know if you have any issues at all, always, but I think you'll like the new website and everything seems to be working uh, properly. So now let's get to it. I, the astrologer, live in Newfoundland, but I give the weekly predictions that I make here on this podcast as per UTC time. Regarding now about the direction of the week, Regarding this week as a whole, I see that generally it's up, but there are also periods with serious drops. 
looking at Bitcoin, a drop is now possible all the way down to around uh, 37,755. That's where my 120 day EMA is right now. And as Bitcoin closed below my 28 day EMA, a drop down to let's say around 38K or a little bit below that is possible. On the upside, the next big resistance for Bitcoin is 52K. You'll see in my Bitcoin BTC 2024 book available on shiningbull.com that I mentioned just as I'll tell you in the dailies in a minute that starting Thursday early afternoon is a big upward catalyst for Bitcoin. So the beginning of such a climb towards the next resistance level at that moment can definitely begin on Thursday. For Ether. ETH is trading much more strongly right now and there can be much more upside for ETH this week. However, you'll notice if you have my ETH BTC 2024 predictions for the ratio book that also on Thursday of this week, I see the ratio flipping to Bitcoin's advantage. The ratio and the ETH USDT are uh, totally different. So I still see ETH climbing on Thursday against USDT, but beginning to fall against Bitcoin. Okay, so now let's get into the day to day. Sunday, the 14th of January, UTC. Sunday, I see many consecutive upward movements due to Moon's transit through the sky in relation to Mercury. Saturn and Jupiter, especially. But I see a drop happening from the early morning before sunrise UTC until mid-morning when Moon transits in Sagittarius in the Navamsha. Sun is getting ready to leave the sign of Sagittarius and I see that this is likely to be a sensitive zone. Monday, 15th January UTC. Monday, I see several upward movements throughout the day. But there is one time frame from morning through to the early afternoon when Moon will be under the influence of both Jupiter and Venus, and I see this causing confusion and a drop. Tuesday, 16th January, UTC. Tuesday, I see several drops, especially for Bitcoin. I see that a drop starts in the early morning, but then that Ether, ETH, recovers and starts climbing in the morning when Moon passes natal Ketu, whereas Bitcoin is likely to continue dropping. Then in the evening UTC, when Buddha Mercury starts trining Dev Guru Jupiter, I see an important climb start for Bitcoin also, which will end up showing up on the daily chart during the week. Okay, so that's another, uh, yeah, um, okay. Now next, Wednesday, 17th January, UTC. Wednesday, UTC, I see a series of upwards movements due to Moon transiting with Sun and Saturn and then with Rahu in the Navamsha. However, I see a drop happening when Buddha Mercury enters into Cancer in the Navamsha in the evening. Next, I see an upward rebound start when Moon enters Aries on Wednesday night UTC into Kendra to Sun, who is newly in Capricorn. Thursday, 18th January UTC. Thursday, I predict a series of drops throughout the morning UTC, especially because Mercury is in an emotionally turbulent state. And when he reaches Shani Dev Saturn's exact degree third from himself, an emotional move is likely to start. But in the early afternoon, when Moon starts transiting with Dev Guru Jupiter, I see an important climb begin. I see that that climb uh, continue for the remainder of Thursday UTC. Friday, 19th January UTC. Friday I see as being up. I see the up move beginning violently when Moon joins Mars in Virgo in the Navamsha where Ketu transits in the sky. Then it looks like it becomes more liberated when Buddha Mercury reaches exact trine to Dev Guru Jupiter. Saturday, 20th January, UTC. 
I see the climb that starts on Friday taking us through Saturday and becoming stronger when Moon enters Taurus. But I do see a drop in the afternoon for a few hours when Moon reaches a trine to the Sun. So um, if you if you are a trader and want exact timestamps, then check out my executive Telegram channel. Um, I give. Uh, specific time frames and uh, and price points targets also and I'm also constantly like trying to improve it so I have one new idea I'm thinking of implementing there on the trading signals but anyway um, okay so please again read the disclaimer in the details section of this video below so that was the weekly forecast for the week ahead in Bitcoin and Ether price and oh and i just want to tell you i'm gonna try and really stay on those timestamps for the day to day so that way you can keep coming if you're interested to refer uh directly to the day um in the details section below okay so um anyway next some news from the past week which will impact the future of crypto and of civilization uh, naturally, this past week was very interesting. The SEC did uh, approve the Bitcoin spot ETFs, but it happened in a crazy fashion with the announcement being made prematurely, presumably by a hacker who infiltrated the SEC's Twitter account. But after all that, Ether began trading much more strongly than Bitcoin. And many people say that this is because now speculation centers on spot Ether ETF approvals. In May, the SEC must decide yay or nay, yes or no, on spot Ether ETF filings from Van Eck, ARK Invest and BlackRock. Astrologically, the reason ETH started a strong climb, though, was because the new moon happened in opposition to Ethereum's natal Mars, who typically works in favor of ETH price. But those of you who have my Ethereum by 2026 book will notice that amazingly, I mentioned the specific date, May 23rd, as being an extremely strong catalyst for Ether price, saying, and I quote from that book, in fact, on May on 23rd May 2024, when Venus and Jupiter start trining natal Rahu as Sun hits exact trine to natal Rahu and Moon transits Saturn, ETH price will head up with conviction. Now, I had no idea at the time of writing that book, which was released in 2022, that the that exact date is apparently the final deadline for the SEC to decide on Van X spot Ether ETF filing. And after that, on the 24th is the deadline for ARC, and that's followed by several more deadlines in May and in the following months. Okay, so I just wanted to give you that insight. And um, and anyway, that's all for this week. I'm, you'll see that the website, it just has books for sale, but this week I'm gonna try and like, um, like put, you know, news articles up there so you can check about these predictions I make on the podcast. You can read them uh, at your leisure also. And I'm even thinking of including a little bit of uh, personal, uh, uh, little, little details every now and then about transits that will affect the personal life also just I just want to make the website slowly a page that you like hanging out out on too, not just to shop on but anyway bit by bit and I'm wishing you a great week ahead there's a lot of really interesting transits happening um, and I hope that um, they are wonderful for all of us and um, and um, I'll see you next week thank you